Hey everyone, it's Chris with Flywheel, and I want to show you today how easy it is to send data from BigQuery to Google Ads so you can target your customers with Google search ads, YouTube ads, and typically what folks use this for is to be able to target churned customers or customers that have signed up but they haven't made their first purchase, and they get them over to Google Ads and then they can target them with advertising there to convert them over to purchasers. So this is very easy to do with Flywheel. Uh, what you start with is something we call a master store. So you're able to connect your account to your big query tables that you have your customer data sitting in. So we've already gone ahead and done that. And you can see we've connected a service account here. Uh, this is in our help center documentation. You can see articles about how you generate a service account and how you're able to connect that to the app. It's very easy to do. And once you do it, you have access to create lists off your big query tables. So I'm going to hop over to the next step, which is setting up your destination, which involves setting up your Google Ads account. So you can very easily select your Google Ads account by logging in with Google. And you can see I've already set up the Flywheel sound Sandbox Ads account here, which we're going to be sending data to. So to do this, you just select Connect Destination, and then you select Google Ads. You log in with your Google account, and you're able to select your ad account that you want to sync to. I'm not going to do that here because I've already done it uh, with the Flywheel sa Sandbox account. Um, but now that we have these two things set up, you have BigQuery set up, you have Google Ads, now we're going to send data between the two. So to get started there, I'm going to click back over to the Audiences tab, and I can actually select New Audience, and then Custom Audience. And once I do this, I'm going to be able to see the different fields in my BigQuery table, so I can start filtering my customers and then send them over to Google Ads as an audience. So to do this, what I'm going to do here is you can see a few different fields, last purchase date, interaction days since email open, days since last interaction, and total lifetime spend. To start, I'm gonna say I wanna target customers that have churned. So these are customers that have purchased, uh, their last purchase date was before January 1st, 2021, let's say. And you can see the customer account's gonna update. This is actually running a live query against your big query table, show you how many customers fit this criteria. Then I'm gonna say they have interacted with me though, they have interacted in the last 60 days. So they've either opened an email or they've signed up on our website for another service. Uh, but this gets our world down to about 15,800 customers. So they used to purchase from us. They interacted recently. We're going to try to upsell them to make another purchase. You can also see below the customer account, the treatment and control group. This is how many people are going to be sent to Google, which is 14,000. How many are going to be held back? So you can measure your revenue uplift, which is 1,586. In this case, I'm actually not going to have a control group. I'm going to send them all to Google Ads, which you can control with their slider. So I'm churned uh, with recent interaction customers. I'm going to save this audience. And once I save it, I'm actually going to be able to export it. And I can select my Flywheel Sandbox Google Ads account, and I'll select Start Export, and then next we'll see it over in our Google Ads account. All right, so I've gone ahead and pulled up our Flywheel Sandbox Google Ads account. And you can see here on the Audience List tab under Audience Manager, our churned with recent interaction customer list, and it started to load. So you can see it says the size is less than 100. It'll actually be much higher than that. It's just started to load, and it usually takes 12 to 24 hours for Google to fully match any list that you're sending over. Now, every hour, as new people enter your audience and data loads in your BigQuery, they will be loaded into Google Ads with updates. So every customer that now fits this audience will be added, and then we'll remove customers automatically for you. And that's really it. That's how easy it is to send data between Google Ads and uh, BigQuery with Flywheel. Thanks, everybody.